Hi, I'm Janet. I am a portrait photographer in Phoenix and today I'm coming to you by my car to talk about my five favorite places that I like to do family portraits at. So I actually want to do this live on Facebook but again I'm in my car and my hotspot can only help me so much. So I'm recording this on OBS. So um, let's get started. Alright, so five places in Phoenix that I like to take photo shoots at or family portraits to be more specific. Okay, so my uh, number one place is Anthem Park. Anthem Park is my favorite place to go. Why? Because it has a waterfall. So if you look at the first two top photos, where the quinceañera and Destiny, the girl in the white dress, um, and then this one right here, oh, this one right here, <laughs> there's a waterfall. So this is why I love this. It, it, when I see it, I think of it as a... Uh, castle garden like if there was a castle somewhere this is the garden that I imagine maybe I grew up watching too many Disney movies but this is what I think of it but also around that spot around the corner there's also an open field so um, if you watch the last live video that I did on here you will hear me talk about my first experience taking photos of a toddler and we were on this open field taking photos and he was running around so I love this one it also has a bridge right in front of the waterfall that I'm telling you about so if you can see the one in the far far well the way that you're watching it will be on the far left it's a bridge it's a really nice um, nice area to take photos here's a little bit more I did a graduation and when I was doing the 30-day challenge my sister and I went to this park and took photos and this is the lake I was telling you about Okay, so number two, my second favorite place to go take pictures is Sararo Ranch Park. The way that I like to describe this park is that it has a rustic, a rustic look. I don't know how else to describe this one. So basically, it has, like the one on the far left, it has this truck, it has a farm, it has a farm, a farm, barn, there you go. It has a barn, and actually you can book it in host a party there it also has like two farmhouses open field it's beautiful and also in front of the farmhouse there's this garden with roses so if you see this one right here um, right next to me and then the one on the top left corner roses it's a beautiful beautiful park here's more PR more photos there you go um, I actually uh, this park is in Glendale so if you're from Phoenix area this is in Glendale around 59th Avenue in Peoria all right Tempe Beach Park you know if you live in Phoenix you know that this is a spot you must go and take photos anytime during the day so um, I haven't had the opportunity to do a family portrait here I would want to just giving you a heads up but I've done quinceañeras it's beautiful I've also done the um, with the photography challenges that I've done, the 30 day challenge and the night photography challenge. So as you can see, you can, I can do night portrait photography. I figured it out. All, you gotta, all I gotta do is bring a flash. But yeah, and here's more. So you just gotta look for those spots to, and play with your composition. All right, so my third one, no, fourth one. Yeah, my fourth one that I like to go to is Encanto Park. Encanto Park is right in the middle of Phoenix. It's on 15th Avenue and Thomas, like south of Thomas. And yeah, this is a very popular family park. It's always busy. There's an amusement park. There's a train that, you, that the kids can ride on. Um, what else? There's lakes. There's a golf course. There is a historical building right across the street. Um, the quinceanera photo that you see on the far left, that's the historical building. I don't know the story behind it. I just know it's historical. But yeah, so I like taking pictures here because of the, the lake, the palm trees, and then of course the playground. I can always use a playground. And there you go. And Encanto Park is always filled with people, um, especially when I do portraits. When I host a photo shoot, I always do them during the weekend and late at the day, late during the day. So you gotta be very creative with your composition, with the framing and the location. You gotta make sure that you're avoiding people. I hope that makes sense. Okay, and then the last 
place that I like to take photo shoots is not really a place, it's just more of a recommendation, is to use the mountain trails that Phoenix has to offer. So some of the mountains or some of the mountain trails that I've gone to is South Mountain, the Scorpion Gush Trail. There's also Papago Park, the one like towards the Phoenix Zoo. I think it's maybe the first light or the second light. Um, there's also Squat Peak, there's Dreamy Draw, there's Camelback, there's Superstitions. Use those. We live in Phoenix. Phoenix has a lot of landscape to offer. Um, and you just got to be creative. You always have to time it really well as well. You have to time it really well too. I recommend going like either early in the day or late in the afternoon so you can get that golden golden um look that yellow golden orangey look so for example this one right here and then the one in the middle where Marlene's wearing the striped shirts we went there during the morning that's when the sun was rising and then the other ones where she's wearing the red blouse we were in we were we went to scorpion grouch and that was during maybe four o'clock maybe five we went during the summer so it was probably 5 30 and you can see and it's, the sky is still a little bit blown out. But will you see the engagement session that we did? That I did a few years, two years ago? That was also around four, around 5.30. And you can see that golden, that golden color. That warm color. There you go. That's the word I was looking for. So yeah, so here's more examples. I've also done um, night photography at the Scorpion Grouch. So yeah, so I'm just going to do a recap on all of the five places that I recommend. So starting off with Anthem Park. Anthem Park is north of Phoenix. It's 40 to 55 minutes from downtown Phoenix. Sorrara Ranch Park. Oops. Sorrara Ranch Park. That one is in, in Glendale. I recommend that park. And then of course there is Tempe Beach Park always it was a fun park to go to it's a beautiful it's like for me it's the beach away from the beach does that make sense okay um so that's the third one and then the fourth one is Encanto Park it's right in the middle of Phoenix and if you're from that location you know that this is a very popular park to go take photos and then last but not least is the mountain trails so that is all Thank you for watching it. I really want to do this live. Here, let me, let me change. Let me take up the whole screen. Just give me a second. I'm using OBS, you guys. This is a really fun program. Really convenient too. Okay. All right, so if you got to this end of the video, thank you. I hope these are helpful. These are locations that you might want to go and take photos, even if it's just with your iPhone. I know prom is coming up. Valentine's Day is coming up. Um, hopefully, by the time graduation comes around, all of you who are in school are able to walk. I'm hoping to. My sister, Marlene is graduating high school, and I really want her to walk. She is the baby of the family, so I really want her to see walking up to get her diploma. All right, so that is all. If you guys have been to these locations or you guys have any other recommendation, let me know in the comments below. Um, have a great day. Bye.